how to find the area of a circle when we have another circle inside of it that we don't want. Basically what we need to do is we need to find the area of this outer shape and then subtract the area of this smaller one. Now when we do it, we need to find the area of this larger shape as if it was filled in and then find this area of the smaller one and subtract it. And that's how we find this shaded region here. Okay, so I went ahead and I wrote the equations of a circle twice. Why? Because this larger shape is a circle. So I did pi r squared. I'll use blue to represent the larger circle. And then pi r squared for the smaller circle because it's a circle. Then I use substitute, and this 12 is from here, it's given. The radius is 12 feet there, and the smaller one is 5. Okay, I multiplied these out, and I converted the pi to 3.14. Usually your teacher will allow that, or actually want you to use 3.14 to represent pi. Sometimes your teacher will allow you to, or want you to, leave it in the pi form. Make sure you know what your teacher wants so you can get the best grade possible and keep him or her happy. Alrighty, then you multiply these out and with the magic of computers I got 452 and 1600 and 78 and 5 tenths for the small area here and this is the larger area. Okay, once we have that we've gone through all the hard stuff now we simply subtract and then this is our answer here it's 373 and 66 hundredths. Okay, so that actually represents the area of the shaded region. But recall in this example, we are asked to round to the nearest tenth. So I, I went ahead and rounded this to seven tenths because this digit to the right was five or more. So that means you add one to the digit to the left. And lastly, it is an area problem, so don't forget to write the units. In this example, the units are in feet, so you have to write feet squared. Remember, area always has to have squared units. And that completes our problem.